Hello everyone and welcome back to the Thomas Gallery. Today we have a drawing of Ovis Canadensis, Canadensis, pardon me, or more commonly known as the ram or bighorn sheep or bighorn sheep. Now for those who are confused, a ram is a sheep. A ram is the name for a male sheep. Uh, for a male sheep is a ram. A female sheep, like a mother, you know, is called a ewe. It's spelled E W E U. That's 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 how you spell it. And a baby sheep is a lamb. L A M B. No lamb chop. No the lamb of God. That whole thing. So a male sheep is called a ram. All right. And this particular sheep is a big horn sheep. Called for obvious reasons. You see these giant horns here. Now, as I explained uh, some time ago about the difference between horns and antlers and things of that na nature, like in tusk, these are horns. If you look at if you look at it. You can see that you no, know, that they grow. They're part of the skull. Okay, as I told you before, that is the one defining trait between antlers and horns. Antlers don't grow with. They don't grow connected to the skull. Antlers grow out and then they then they fall. Horns, however, grow from the skull. It's a part of the skull. So that that's how that goes, and like I said, it's called a big horn sheep. It's very very appropriately named because of big horns. That it's not a, not 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 a, not a, no, a play on words or anything. You got some giant horns that go around like this. If you if you know about the um, the North Carolina Tar Heels, their mascot is a big horn sheep. That's their mascot. It's a big horn sheep. And they they do a whole lot of ramming, hence the term why it's called a ram, why a male sheep is called a ram. A ram is not an animal. A ram is actually an action. It's a verb. You know, when you ram something, you hit something. So you ask the question, well, why do they call a big a male bighorn sheep a ram? Well, during mating season. Or any kind of confrontation or to protect the offspring or something like that, but mainly during mating season, the males, the male, the the rams, the male sheep, you know the testosterone levels go up and they compete with other rams for the. Ability, you no, know, for the ability to mate with the female, the ewes. The female sheep is called a ewe, like I said before. And as a matter, as a means of competition, they would size each other up, and then they would step back some feet, some distance away, and they would take a full, literal head-on charge. That's what that's what you get the term from head-on. They get it from that. They would take a full head-on charge, and they would ram their skulls right here into each other. Horns and skulls and all that. And you would think like what in the world? Like they, they hit with enough force. Like like a, it's like the equivalent to a, a being in a car accident. The amount of force that is exerted by rams when they headbutt each other is equivalent to being in a car accident. Like a bad one. So you would think like how in the world do they just slam their heads together multiple times and ain't just one time they do it multiple times until one of the rams just say you know what i i give up i can't do this no more that's basically what happens they hit each other in their head to the point where somebody just says all right i quit that, that's it all right you're good i'm done i had enough no more no cte i don't want no cte issues none of that so who whichever ram wins 
that RAM is now able to you know, court the you, the female sheep, and mate with the female sheep and make little lambs, baby sheep. And you think, like, how could they do that much damage and not, like, kill themselves? Because for sure, if a human were to headbutt someone with the same amount of force that a ram does, both, both people will die. Simple as that. Our skulls are not meant to deal with that kind of force. We, we ain't, our skulls are not about that life. Simple as that. We just, just ain't about that life. But the reason why uh, rams are able to do that is because their skulls are specially made for that. They're made for that. Meaning, if you look at the inside of the ram's skull, you will see that the amount of layer of bone that is there is thicker than a human's. Plus, there's extra padding on the inside of the uh, on the inside of the skull to absorb it. It's the, it's the equivalent like like a, like a football helmet. If you look at football helmets, the football helmets are hard on the outside, but there's padding on the inside of the helmet. And the hard part is to give the force, but the cushion part is to absorb the force given. Because you know. If you ever wonder how when you land on something soft, you don't feel any pain, well, that's because of the material itself can easily absorb the force because when it when it uh when the force is applied to a soft object, the pre the force is dispersed throughout the throughout the the material taking away the energy taking away the energy that is given that's basically how that works when you have when you have force you know force equals mass times acceleration that's what force is is mass times acceleration so you take mass and you accelerate it it produces a force and that that energy that goes into that 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 object it doesn't it doesn't go away that energy is transferred from one entity to the next that's that's um Isaac Newton you know third law of uh thermodynamics energy is neither created nor destroyed it's transferred from one party to the next that applies in everything that applies in a ra a ram's hit that applies a football energy is neither created nor destroyed it just transfers from one party to the next and with that force it goes from the from the this ram's head to the other and if you don't have something soft to disperse that force you feel all of that force you feel all of it it all all of that impact hits you that's when you have a car crash where it looks so bad is, is because all of that force goes into you the, it, got, it gotta go somewhere the, the, the energy has to go somewhere it, it, it gotta go somewhere and it will go to the quickest place it can go to it, if, if it can go to you it'll go to you if it can go to the ground it'll go to the ground but it gotta go somewhere and whatever whatever you know, whatever thing is impacted by that energy now takes on that energy. So if a person is hit with the force of a ram, all of that pressure, all of that energy that, that that ram produced, if it isn't dispersed evenly and you know and just goes away, all of that force will go into your body. And then your body is now your body now has to feel that force that is exerted by that object, well, in this case, a ram. So, 
you can imagine two Rams fighting and they just they just stand up and they come at an angle and don't just BAM and then you know whatever force that is it has to go somewhere so it goes into the other Rams skull but the but their skull is made for that their skull is prepared to deal with that force by adding extra padding, extra cushion. Simple as that. Without that padding, without if it, was, it was just bone on bone, and without that padding and without that extra cushion, your brain or their brain would just get completely destroyed. It would destroy their brain because that for like I say that energy has to go somewhere. It has to go somewhere. And if your brain absorbs it. Your brain absorbs it. It's just that simple. And your brain can take, you're going to take but so much force. Everything has a limit of how much force it can take. And when you reach the limit of that, if you reach the, you know, the limit of that object, you will destroy it. That's how you can make it. That's that's how things explode. Things explode because of the amount of force that is exerted by the explosion is greater than the object's ability to contain it. It's greater, and once you meet that, once you meet or exceed that force, you have an explosion. It's the same thing how when you see when you throw a snowball at a wall. If you ever throw a snowball at a wall, or you throw a snowball at a person. When you throw a snowball. That energy that you th- that you put into that snowball is greater than the energy is, that is needed to keep that snowball in, in in its present form. So the moment it makes contact with another object, that energy has to go somewhere. The energy, the energy that you put into that, that snowball has to go somewhere. And because that energy is greater than the, than the force needed to keep the snowball intact, the snowball explodes. Simple as that. So, I say all that to say, that's how a ram is able to bang his head up against another ram's skull and their brains not explode. Simple as that. that that's, how it, that's how it happens. That's just simple physics. It's... Force equals mass times acceleration, and energy is neither created nor destroyed. Just transfer from one party to the next. That's as simple as that. So I do not suggest anyone think that they can go up against a ram and headbutt it. That will be the dumbest thing you ever do. And also the last thing you will ever do. If you don't die, you will be permanently brain. You have permanent brain damage. Play that. If if by some miracle you don't die, I can I can guarantee you whatever amount of money you want to bet, you will have permanent brain damage. It's as simple as that. You will have permanent brain damage if you if you decide. To have a head button challenge with a ram. Don't 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 do that. Don't do that. That 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 Buster Rhymes video where he did the um, video where he was going up against a ram. Don't do that. That's not real. It, 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 was, it came from a commercial. It was, it was a commercial. I forgot what commercial was where a man went up against a ram and head butted it, and the man won the head button contest. Don't believe that crap. Whatever you do, do not believe any of that crap. That is not real. There isn't a human skull on this planet that has the strength to withstand a full-on headbutt from a ram. Do not do it. I don't care if you have a foot... I don't care if you have a football helmet. Even if you had a football helmet, it is still greater than the force. A ram's head can produce more 
force than a football helmet can withstand. Do not do that to yourself. Keep your brain intact. So I, I, I gave you physics. I gave you common sense. Do not try to headbutt a ram. You will most likely die. Don't do that to yourself. Don't believe the commercials. The commercials are not real. They are meant to sell a product. And the Buster Rhymes video was just a video. He knows that he's still alive. He didn't do that for real. It was CGI. Don't. Don't don't do that. That's the same. I'm just, just, just telling you the real. Human beings are not human beings were never meant to deal with concussions. We were never human beings. The human skeleton was never meant to endure that amount of force. We were not. We're meant for running. We're meant for jumping. We're meant for a little. We're meant for a little bit of. Our, our body can take a little bit of contact, but compared to a ram, our bodies were not meant for that. It was not. So it like believe it or not, our bodies were not meant to play football. No, no, our bodies were not meant for that. The amount of force that that we exert in hitting another person. When it comes to the game of football, American football, the amount of force that the amount of force that is, that is exerted on the human body, whether it be the giver or the receiver, our bodies were physically not made to do that. That's one the reason why we have padding and helmets and equipment. That's why we have it because our bodies weren't meant for that. In the early days of football, people would die from being tackled. Hard as crap. People would people would literally die. But thanks to equipment like you no know, the football helmets and the padding, the knee pads and all that stuff, and like the cup, you know, we can we can exert more force. However, our brains are actually still not meant to deal with that kind of force. It's not. It's just not meant to do that. So please, 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 please. What did what they say? Uh, do not try this at home. Yeah, do not try this anywhere. Do not, do not, do not. This has been your Thomas Gallery public service announcement. <laughs> I've seen, I've, I've heard of a lot of people doing some crazy stuff. <sighs> I just pray, I, I just hope and pray that I don't look on the news and see that um, a, a man or woman dying because they wanted to headbutt a ram. I know. I mean, I, I, you, I, there's footage of, I mean, you know, sheep, like, you no, know, it could be a, a, a you, a female sheep, who may headbutt, it's a, it's a, a footage of um, a goat or... Uh, like a female sheep headbutting the lady in the back and she falls. Right. That is not the same as a bighorn sheep. Bighorn sheep's skulls are made to exert a tremendous amount of force. More force than our bodies can handle. We just we just ain't about that life. When it comes to when it comes to evolution. Human beings are just not about that life. We just ain't. We can't do it. Can't do it. Leave it alone. Let's see. Almost. Almost done. I, I knew you were going to hear that. I say one thing. This is probably the most tedious skull I've drawn so far. This is absolutely tedious because of the, the, the you know, the all these lines and stuff. It just it's the most tedious skull I've ever had to draw. But it's cool. You learn a lot.
all these little lines and stuff, all these little ridges. And it's cool that the the the, the uh, ram's horns, if I'm not mistaken, don't have a definite like length, like a maximum length. Like you can see them like growing like this, like like a circle. They can go full out like that. Like I've seen footage of rams' horns where they go all the way out like this. And they just keep going and going and going. So pretty much the horns stop growing when the ram dies, I'm assuming. Like the ram's horns are determined by the lifespan of the sheep. If if the ram keeps growing or keeps you know, the older they get, the the bigger and longer the, the horns get. I've seen some crazy looking horns on like the the you know remains of a, a sheep, a big horn sheep. I, like they are crazy. Even some living ones, they are, they're like just absolutely crazy. Oh man, man, man. Right, and is it? Yes, that's it. So this is the end of this drawing. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And click the little bell button for notifications so when I do upload, you can see it. Right, thank you very much, and catch y'all later. Peace.